So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the last column with data in the entire worksheet. We'll start by creating a subroutine. So we'll just call it sub last column worksheet. And we will create a variable in range last column as range. And we will set that range. So range last column equals, we will write sales dot find We will use an asterisk, comma, and the next one will be the search order. Search order will be Excel by columns, Excel by columns, and the search direction. will be Excel previous. And we'll close the brackets on that. And that should be all that we actually need to get the last column with data. So we'll create a message box at the end of our subroutine. Message box, range last column dot column. So if we go to our spreadsheet over here, we actually don't have any data in that, but we will just put in a couple of values. So we'll go one here, one there, and one there. So it's gonna look through the entire spreadsheet and it actually should give us the um, column F, or in this instance, it's actually going to give us the, the column number that is F. So it should be a six. Typo. Let's try that again. And it has given us the column number six. So if we actually want to return the actual column letter rather than the column number, we can do something else, which I will show you here. So we'll just create another message box and we will go split cells and range last column dot column dot address. This all might look a little bit confusing, but you just need to know, but it works. So at the end of this subroutine, it's going to create two message boxes. Uh, the first one will return the last column number, and then the second message box will give us the last column letter. So it should be 6 and then F. 6 and F, so it's given us the actual column letter that we can we can then work with at a later point if we prefer the letter rather than the number. If we delete this one, it should actually return uh, the column number four and then the letter D. Let's try that again, four and D. And that is how you get the last column in the entire worksheet. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos just like this.